Good day. Today I'm going to discuss to you about the learning outcome number one, assemble computer hardware. It is under the core competency of computer system servicing NC2, installing and configuring computer system. Our topic for today is the occupational health and safety policies and procedure. And I'm your trainer, Dr. Rosemary S. Gere. How do we define the occupational health and safety? It is ensuring a safe workplace. It is a vital that you follow the procedures that have been developed for your facility for managing occupational health and safety. It is essential for the instructor to provide a safe working environment for all students or learner. A learner or students have the right to know what hazardous materials, equipment, or processes they work with or could be exposed to and what they can do avoid injury or illness when working with these materials, equipment, or process. Occupational Health and Safety Scope First, Promotion and Maintenance It is the highest degree of physical, mental, social well-being of workers in all occupation. Prevention among workers It is the adverse effect on health caused by their working conditions. Protection of workers. This is the protection on their employment from risk resulting from factors adverse to health. Placing and maintenance of workers. It is an occupational environment adapted to physical and mental needs. Adaptation of work to humans. In other words, occupational health and safety encompasses the social, mental, and physical well-being of workers, that is, the whole person. Occupational health and safety is a discipline with a broad scope involving many specialized fields. Points to remember Poor working conditions have the potential to affect a worker's health and safety. Unhealthy or unsafe working conditions can be found anywhere, whether the workplace is indoors or outdoors. Poor working conditions can affect the environment workers live in. This means that the worker, their families, other people in the community, and the physical environment around the workplace can all be at risk from exposure to workplace hazard. Employers have a moral and often legal responsibility to protect workers. Work-related accidents and diseases are common in all parts of the world and often have many direct and indirect negative consequences for workers and their families. A single accident or illness can mean enormous financial loss to both workers and employers. Effective workplace health and safety programs can help to save the lives or lives of workers by reducing hazard and their consequences. Effective programs can also have positive effects on both workers, moral and productivity, and can save employers a great deal of money. The three steps used to manage health and safety and work. The first one is the spot, the hazard. Hazard is anything that could hurt the worker or someone else. Example of workplace hazards includes frayed electrical cords could result to electrical shock. Boxes stuck on secured, they could fall on someone. Noisy machinery could result damage to your hearing. The second one is the risk control. In assessing the risk means working out how likely the hazard will harm someone and how serious the hard could be. Third, make the changes. It is the requirement for the employees to have the training before using the equipment and always ask for help moving or lifting heavy object. Common hazards encountered by computer technicians and users. The first one is the physical hazard. It is an agent, factors, or circumstances that can cause harm with or without contact. They can be classified as the type of occupational hazard or environmental hazard. 
One of the most common physical hazard involving computer technician is cables running across the floor. If someone trips, falls, and hurts himself because of the cable you run across the floor, someone, trainer, or learner, or the student has a serious legal negligence problem. For cables that are temporarily but will need to run across the floor for a longer period of time, use the guppers. And this is the example of the guppers. The guppers tape is a heavy tape with a strong adhesive to stick to the floor. It comes in a wide range of colors, from intrusive matte black to hazard warning red. Although it has strong adhesive, it can be removed easily and cleanly. For long-term cable routing, there is a wide variety of cable organizing devices, like cable ties. The second hazards will be the mechanical hazards. It is created as the result of either powered or manual, it can be the human, use of tools, equipment, or machinery and plan. When working on an electronic equipment, ask yourself first, is there any way this equipment could hurt me? You might stick your hand in a printer and suddenly, the paper feed arm moves, feeding not only paper but through the printer, printer but a piece of your finger too. When working on electronic equipment, always be alert to any possibility of being hurt by, me, by moving cable raceways. Chemical hazard A type of occupational hazard caused by exposure to chemical in the workplace. Exposure to chemical in the workplace can cause acute or long-term Deprimental health effect. There is a wide array of chemicals used with electronic equipment. There are display cleaning materials, keyboard cleaning chemicals, compressed gas dirt, and dust removers, and many cleaning solvent. Some of these chemicals can be harmful to, if accidentally swallowed, get on bare skin or get in eyes. Number four. Electric shock hazard. Inside computer and electronic equipment, here is the range of voltage from 3.3 volts to 25 volts. Most of these are harmless. But at the power supply, you'll find line voltage which is little 220 volts. Most of the time while working inside computers and electronic equipment, you want them unplugged from the wall socket. If you need to work on equipment while still plugged in or powered up, remove all jewelry and wrist watch. PIP The cathode ray tube or the CRT monitor high voltage hazard. Monitors are becoming less common nowadays, but should you run into one, it is best not to open it up. Instead of outsource any CRT repair job to a qualified CRT repair service, a CRT monitor has a high voltage anode inside it, which can carry a charge up to 25,000 volts, and it can still be holding a high charge days after the power is removed. 12. Occupational Health and Safety Procedures for Computer System Servicing First, do not work alone so that there is someone who can take care of you in case of emergency. Always power up the computer and unplug the computer before working on it. Take away any liquid near you, working area, to avoid getting electrocuted or accidentally damaging computer parts. Be careful with those that may cause short circuit. Always ground or discharge yourself before touching any part of the computer. Do not excessive force if things don't quite slip into place. Clean the area before and after using it to maintain sanitation and prevent accident. Hold the components on the edges and do not touch the integrated IC parts. Always wear personal protective equipment, which is the PPE, in accordance with the organization's OHS procedures and practices. Make sure that the pins are properly aligned when connecting a cable connector. Contingency measures during workplace accidents. 
fire and other emergencies are recognized. Use brush, compressed air, or blower in cleaning the computer system. The next topic is the 5S and good housekeeping. So what will be the 5S? A, pro a proven method in carrying out proper maintenance and upkeep of machines and facilities. 5S utilizes five keywords of process activities in Japanese, starting with letter S, namely Seiri, Seiton, Seiso, Seiketsu, and Shitsuke, which in, in English mean sorry, systematize, swept, standardize, and self-discipline respectively. What is Seiri? It is the unnecessary materials when mixed with ne with needed one result to delay and poor work to avoid this segregation of necessary from an necessary item is a must. Satan are systematized. To systematize or organize means making tools, gadgets, implements, equipment, supplies, and almost everything required for work easily accessible. Say so or sweep. If every worker will take part in the cleaning the surroundings before and after work, potential causes of problem in the process line can be easily spotted and resolved. Fourth, say ketsu or standardize. Standardizing the best practices of doing the first three 5S provides an excellent template in doing work well. Hence, it is a vital that sorting, organizing, and cleaning be inculcated among workers to come up with the best way of doing things. And the last one is the Shitsuke or the self-discipline. To sustain 5S, both managers and workers need training to acquire the necessary discipline. Training is one of the powerful motivation that drive every employee to work productivity. The above rundown is an introduction to effective management of good housekeeping in the workplace. A more detailed discussion of every process keyword will be provided in the next topic. What is the important now is there is a simple management tool to calibrate and implement effective preventive maintenance in your workplace. It involves the man, machine, mat and materials. Both failure, breakdown, and delay happen, proactive measures are already all set. Aside from the 5S, we have here the additional S. So we have three, safety, security, and satisf satisfaction. For the safety, comprehensive safety program is undetermined when it is related, relegated to a single item in an efficiency-focused business methodology. Security. To leverage security as an investment rather than an expense, the 7S identifies and addresses three to key business categories including fixed assets, the PPS, material, human capital, brand equity, intellectual property, information technology, Assets in transit and extended supply chain. And we have here satisfaction. Employee satisfaction and engagement in continuous improvement activities ensure the improvements will be sustained and improved upon. The eight ways non utilized intellect, talent, and resources can be most damaging ways of all. It is important to have continuous education about maintaining standard. When there are changes that affect the 5S program, such as new equipment, new products, or new work rules, it is essential to make change in the standards providing the training. Companies embarrassing 5S often use posters and signs as the way of educating employees and maintaining the so-called standard. We have the three R's, reuse, reduce, and recycle. The three R's stands for reduce, reuse, and recycle. 
Reduce calls for waste reduction by using tanks that you already have until the very end. And their life cycle by avoiding waste generation. Reuse calls for re re reutilization of goods and materials. Recycle calls for the reutilization of waste as resources. And that will be the end of discussion for our first topic, which is the occupational health and safety policies and procedure. And please be ready for your subject 1.1-1. One one it in includes the 5S, the 3Rs, and of course, the occupational health and safety.